Craig Miller with that report. Next tonight, the administrator at Heart of Midlothian says the start of bankruptcy proceedings against the club's parent company is an important step forward in its fight for survival. A court in Lithuania is reported to have appointed a bankruptcy trustee for UBIG, raising hopes of an agreement which would get Hearts back into business. Our chief reporter David Cowan has more. In Belfast last night, Hearts gave their long-suffering fans something to celebrate in a pre-season friendly against local side Crusaders FC. And there was good news too from a court far away in Lithuania. A bankruptcy trustee has been appointed to Hart's former parent company, UBIG. Part of Vladimir Romanov's collapsed business empire, it has a 50% stake in the club, which owes it £10 million. Further legal delays are likely, but it means the administrator at Tynecastle will have someone to talk to as he tries to secure UBIG's shares. Well, it's absolutely crucial we won't be able to do a CVA without actually getting control of that shareholding. And that's why this appointment is so important to us, because you know, we'll never be able to affect the CVA without it. The other main shareholder, UKO Bankers, has a 30% stake in Hearts, plus rights to Tynecastle, and is owed £15 million. Brian Jackson says UBIG's bankruptcy trustee could be in place when he's in a position to announce a preferred bidder. The timing could work out well. Three offers have come in, and it's believed the fan-backed foundation of Hearts is leading the race. It's already submitted a bid, then revised it and provided proof of funding. If you had to, would you revise the bid again? I'm sure you can understand I can't possibly comment on that. You know, we have put in the best possible bid we can with the money we have available, of course with the 6,000 fans who've backed the Foundation of Hearts bid. So we've put in a bid that is affordable, that takes the club forward. Next weekend, Hearts will start the new season up in Perth on minus 15 points. But off the park, it appears some progress is being made. David Cowan, STV News at Tynecastle Stadium.